Hello all. Today I want to have a brief but honest conversation with you guys about Arch Linux. The much vaunted, much hyped Arch Linux. Now, most Linux YouTubers recently have taken to using Arch Linux, and so have I. And because of that, I thought it would kind of be a good idea to have a short little discussion about what is Arch Linux and why would you want to use it and why might you not want to use it. Arch Linux obviously is a Linux distro, but unlike other Linux distros, it kind of takes an opposite approach to this focus on user friendliness and working out of the box. Instead, when you install Arch Linux, you get a very, very minimal system and you have to like really follow the wiki and follow the instructions in order to do it especially the first couple of times. The idea being is that it's almost like Lego bricks that you use to build your own system that is unique to you. There's no out of the box configurations or anything like that. Well, there's a few, but not very many. And instead you pick your own desktop, you pick your own a, uh, or a window manager and whatnot. I always use KDE, so. Now, because of this and because of its very minimal nature, what are some of the reasons that you might want to use Arch? Couple of reasons. And some of them are gonna sound a little weird to be honest with you. One, the minimal install makes it very, very light on resources. Two, it is the most, one of the most configurable distros out there. Three, is that it's, it's kind of a compromise between a just works distro and a much harder to configure distro like Gentoo or Artix, where they take the configuration thing even further. Whereas with, Arch Linux, at least you have system D, so that will help certain things work out of the box fairly easily, like your Wi-Fi. Uh, another great use, reason to use Arch Linux, if you want to learn about Linux. Now, a reason that you might not, there's two reasons you might not, not want to use Arch. First of all is if you're very, very new to Linux. I don't recommend installing Arch as your first distro. There's a certain type of person that I think could do it. You know, if you're the kind of person that loves to, that learns by like throwing yourself into the deep end and trying to bail yourself reading the manuals, you you might be able to learn by installing Arch. But for the rest of us mere mortals, you're probably if you try to install Arch as your first distro, you're going to end up in a lot of frustration. Two is on is that you don't want to use it on anything that's mission critical. So you know, if you're Boeing and you're looking for a uh, something to set up your autopilot on. I'm just using this as a hypothetical. I don't think, but I don't know, but this is just a hypothetical to be clear. Okay. If you're like using some kind of mission critical software where if it fails, people die. Yeah. Arch is probably not going to be for you because Arch is what you call a rolling release. Okay. And what that means is that packages are tested on a tested and updated on a continual basis instead of having version releases. So basically you install it once and it'll keep updating and being supported forever. The drawback of this is that there's no release and testing phase. Well, there isn't a traditional release and testing phase. So every once in a while, not very often, but every once in a while, you'll get a package update that comes down the pipe and it's like a bowling ball going down a bowling lane. Now that is not to say that test that packages put into the regular repos are completely untested. They're not. But Arch is a very bleeding edge distro. And because of that, it's not as extensively tested as things like Linux Mint. And thus, yes, it is more prone to breakages and the Arch kind of expects you to know how to deal with that. Enough of me talking. I'm actually gonna show you guys what Arch looks like. And I wanna show you guys one of Arch's coolest features. There, I wanted to show you guys an example of an Arch setup. So this is what my setup currently looks like. Hey, uh, you can see I was just watching Max Velocity because crazy shit. Sorry. There's some crazy stuff going on in Florida right now. It's a little nuts. It's a little like tornadoes, tornadoes everywhere. And honestly, to anybody in Florida, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Please be safe. I'm going to show you guys the coolest Arch feature. Now, this is Arch, how I set it up with KDE. But the most compelling reason, in my opinion, to use Arch and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm totally saving the best for last here. The best reason to use, the most compelling reason to use Arch is the AUR. You've probably heard about a million things about it, and I'm going to show it to you. Here we have the AUR, which is absolutely massive, by the way. Almost every program that's ever been coded for Linux is in the AUR somewhere. 
And if it's not in the AUR, it's in the regular Arch repository. So where you go is aur.archlinux.org, and this allows you to search every package in the AUR. Now, what is the AUR, you ask? Well, the AUR is the Arch user repository, and what it is, it's a service that allows users to build and upload packages into a repository. Now, because of that, it's a little, it's definitely use at your own risk. There's a very handy feature to help you with that. And that is, first of all, it shows you date of last update and it shows you the number of votes. So obviously the higher number of votes and the more recently that a package is updated, the more likely that it is legit. Sadly, you sometimes do get really pack popular packages that get orphaned and don't get updated anymore. But that's another thing too, is that sometimes, sometimes it will tell you if a package is on. So let's look up uh, Signal, which is what I use for messaging right now. Okay, so Signal. If we go Signal, and let's sort it. We can sort it by votes by clicking there. And you see this gives us a bunch of different uh, apps. And what it does is it search through apps with the, the word Signal in their name or in their description. So you see some of them here, some of them here are relevant if you want to use the, me the messaging app like this one here. Some of them not so much. So let's search another one. Um, another one that I always install under the AUR is Brave, Brave Browser. And we can see here that that one has, here has, again, it's the same. We can sort it by the votes and the popularity. And this one here has a lot of votes and a very recent update. So it only updated last week and it has 812 votes. Now, you can install and build out of the AUR manually but an easy way to do it is with the uh with, is with an aur helper like yay which i'll probably get into in a different video but these are the reasons about why you should not and should use arch don't forget to like and subscribe and pray every day and especially for anybody that's in florida right now about to get hit by hurricane milton have a great day